Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to continue class 10th mathematics that is quadratic equation. This is part number 7. So in this, we are going to solve problems related to exercise 10.3. Let us see what are the questions that are in the 10, uh, in exercise 10.3. So I will start from question number 4. The sum of the reciprocals of Rahman's age, ages in years 3 years ago and 5 years from now is 1 by 3. Find his present age. So now let us answer this question. So let us write the first sentence. Let the present age of let the present age of Rahman let the present age of Rahman be x years. So Rahman ge eegina varsh eegina vayas so x agirli anta tawana. Next after sorry before they have given before three years. Before three years. So before three years at present if the age of Rahman is x years what is the age of Rahman before 3 years. Now if his age is x before 3 years, the age of Rahman is x minus 3 years. And what is the reciprocal of x minus 3? So x minus 3, the reciprocal of x minus 3 is 1 divided by x minus 3 years. Then after 5 years. So these are the conditions that have been given in the uh, question after 5 years. So what, are, what is the age of Rahman after 5 years? If the present age of Rahman is x, after, after means put five plus 5 years. So after 5 years, the age of Rahman is x plus 5 years. Now what is the reciprocal of x plus 5? So reciprocal is equal to, so x plus 5 divided by 1 will become 1 divided by x plus 5. Now if you add these two reciprocals, it will be equal to, by adding, so two reciprocals, it will be equal to 1 by 3. So now, what is the first reciprocal? 1 divided by x minus 3. What is the second reciprocal? 1 divided by x plus 5. If you add these two, you will get 1 by 3. So now what is the LCM? So x minus 3 into x plus 5 is the LCM. So x plus 5 ones are x plus 5 plus x minus 3 ones are x minus 3 which is equal to 1 by 3. So now let us uh, continue this one. So 1x plus 1x will become, so it will become 2x, 5 minus 3 will become 2. So now let us solve this question. So, 1x plus 1x will become 2x plus 5 minus 3 will become 2 divided by, so x into x will become x square, x into x will become x square. So, now let us write this one now. So, x into x will be equal to x square, then x into 5 will become plus 5x. Then minus 3 into x is minus 3x plus, uh, sorry, plus into minus is minus 3 fives are 15 is equal to 1 by 3. So 2x plus 2 divided by x square, 5x minus 3x is 2x minus 15 is equal to 1 divided by 3. So now cross multiply it, x square plus 2x minus 15 ones are x square plus 2x minus 15 is equal to 3 into, so you multiply it 3 into, it will become 2x plus 2, 3 into 2x plus 2, x square plus 2x minus 15 is equal to 3 to the 6x plus 3 to the 6, x square plus 2x, you bring plus 6x, it will become minus 6x, minus 15, bring plus 6, it will become minus 6, which is equal to 0. So, x square 
minus 6x plus 2x is minus 4x minus 15 minus 6 is minus 21 which is equal to 0. If you multiply any two numbers you will get minus 21. If you add or subtract you will get minus 4. So one is 7 another one is 3. So here if you want to get minus 4 for bigger number minus and smaller number plus. So now minus into plus is minus 7 3s are 21 minus 7 plus 3 is minus 4. So x square minus 7x plus 3x minus 21 is equal to 0. So now make these two one group and these two one group. So x is common then remaining is x minus 7 plus 3 is common remaining is x minus 7 which is equal to 0. So x minus 7 is common to both and remaining is x plus 3 which is equal to 0. So now x minus 7 is equal to 0 x is equal to 7. Then x plus 3 is equal to 0 then x is equal to minus 3. So here we have taken x as the present age of Rahman. So age will not be in negative. Therefore what is the present age of Rahman? Therefore present age of Rahman. Therefore present age of Rahman is how many years? 7 years. So like this we have to calculate the present age of Rahman. So now let us move for the second question. So in a class test, the sum of Shifali's marks in mathematics and English is 30. So mathematics marks plus English marks, total it will be equal to 30. As she got two, more, two marks more in mathematics and three marks less in English, the product of their marks, marks would have been 210. Find our marks in the two subjects. So we have to find out what is the mark she will get in mathematics and what is the mark she will get in uh, that is uh, English. So now let us solve this question. So first let us uh, write uh, that is total. So this is the fifth question. So let us solve this fifth question. So in the fifth question they have given total they got 30 marks. Uh, 30 marks that is uh, uh, it is for maths and English. If you add the marks of English and maths it will be equal to 30. Suppose she scores x marks in mathematics then remaining 30 minus x marks she will score in English. So maths only x has to score mother. English nally 30 minus x remaining 30 minus x marks she will score in uh, English. Suppose ega new marks ekbarana. Idu original marks so ega new marks ekbarana. So new marks ekbarana no? na. Suppose maths ali, in maths instead of x if she score x plus 2 in your marks h ke togondi dare then in English, if she would, uh, instead of 30 minus x, if she scored 3 marks less, that means in English 30 minus x minus 3. So that will become uh, 27 minus x. 30 minus 3 is 27 minus x. So maths will have extra marks, x plus 2 marks. English will have more marks, 27 minus x. If you add a product, it is equal to, so product of match marks into English marks is equal to 210. That means in match x plus 2, English 27 minus x, which with their product will be equal to 210. x into 27, 27x minus x into x is x square plus 27 twos are 54 plus into minus minus. 2 into x 2x is equal to 210. So now minus x square plus 27 minus 2 is 25x plus 54 is equal to 210. So everything in the LHS you shift to RHS. So minus x square become plus x square plus 25x become plus 25x will become minus 25x plus 54 Oh, sorry plus 210 if you shift plus 54 it will become minus 54 
so which is equal to 0. So now x square minus 25x then among these two 210 is greater plus 10 minus 4 is 6 10 minus 5 is 5 then 1 156 is equal to 0. If you multiply any two numbers you have to get plus 156 if you add or subtract you have to get minus 25. So one is minus 13 another one is minus 12 minus into minus is plus 13 12 is 156 minus 13 minus 12 will be equal to minus 25. Now x square e tw minus 25 x can be written as minus 13 x minus 12 x plus 156 is equal to 0 these two one group and these two one group. So what is the common x is common remaining is x minus 13 plus to, uh, sorry here minus is there so minus 12 is common then remaining is x minus 13 which is equal to 0. So now let us uh, uh, what is the common to both so common to both is uh, so the common to both is x minus 13 so x minus 13 is common then remaining is x minus 12 which is equal to 0. So x minus 13 is equal to 0 x is equal to 13 x minus 12 is equal to 0 x is equal to 12. Now let us see what is the marks she scores in mathematics and English. So in maths what is the score in, uh, in maths you will take x which is equal to 13. In English if she if she score 13 marks in English sorry mathematics in English 30 minus x that is equal to 30 minus x is 13 then it is equal to 17. So if she score 13 marks in mathematics then she will score 17 marks in English. So 13 plus 17 is which is equal to 30. Suppose in maths instead of uh, 13 marks if she score 12 marks so maths is equal to x is equal to 12 then what is the mark she score in English so 30 minus x which is equal to 30 minus 12 which is equal to 18 suppose in maths if she score 12 marks definitely in English she will score 18 18 plus 12 will become 30 so like this we have to find out what is the mark sh the Shifali scores in English and mathematics so now let us move for the next question so the next question is the diagonal of a rectangular field is 60 meter more than the shorter side if the longer side is 30 meter more than the shorter side find the sides of this field find the sides of the field means we have to find the dimension of a rectangle rectangle in a dimension and find out so let us move for question number six so in the question number six first let us write a rectangle so this is a rectangular field a b c d is a rectangular field and here b d is the diagonal so now let us take let the shorter side be let the shorter side which is the shorter side one is a d in another one is b c AD is equal to BC is equal to X meter. So shorter side na X and coin. Agar let the longer side be. Let the longer side which is the longer side one is AB another one is CD. So let the longer side AB is equal to CD is equal to. So it is 30 meter more than the longer uh, shorter side. If the shorter side is X then longer side is x plus 30 shorter side is 30 meter just the x plus 30 meter now diagonal so diagonal is equal to which is the diagonal i have taken bd which is equal to it is 60 meter more than the shortest side so 60 meter more than more means plus than the shorter side shorter side is x so x plus 60 meter so we know that in a rectangle all angles are right angles so here this is x therefore this is also x then if this is x plus 30 then this is also x plus 30 
then the length of the diagonal is x plus 60. Now let us find out the shortest and longest side. So now you apply uh, theorem, Pythagoras theorem for this one. That is in triangle B, C, D. So let us write here in triangle B, C, D. Angle C is equal to 90 degree. If this is 90, then hypotenuse will be BD. So BD square is equal to BC square plus CD square. So BD square is X plus 60 whole square is equal to BC square is X square plus CD square is X plus 30 whole square. So now it is in the form of A plus B whole square. A square X square plus B square 60 square plus 2 into A. A is X into B is 60 plus oh sorry is equal to X square plus it is in the form of a plus b whole square a square plus b square is 30 square plus 2 into a is x into b is 30. So now yeah, here x square plus so now 60 60 is a, will become 3600 plus 62 is a, 120x is equal to 1x square plus 1x square 2x square plus 30 square will become 900 plus 230 is a 60x. So everything here you shift this side. So 2x square you shift plus x square it will become minus x square plus 60x. You shift uh, minus, uh, plus 120 it will become minus 120x plus 900. You shift plus 3600 minus 3600 is equal to 0. So 2x square minus x square is x square. 60 minus 120 is minus 160x. Sorry, minus 60x. So 900 minus 3600 minus 2700 which is equal to 0. So now if you multiply any two numbers, you have to get minus 2700. If you add or subtract, you have to get minus 60. So, one is 90, another one is 30. Here, here, we have to get minus 60 means for bigger number minus and smaller number plus. So, minus 90 plus 30. So, now one is minus 90, another one is so 30. So, now let us solve this question now. So, if I solve this question, so let us factorize it now. So, x square minus 60x can be written as so x square minus 60x can be written as minus 90x plus 30x minus 2700 which is equal to 0 these two one group and these two one you take x as common remaining is x minus 90 plus 30 common remaining is x minus 90 which is equal to 0 so x minus 90 is common to both and remaining is x plus 30 which is equal to 0. x minus 90 is equal to 0. x is equal to 90. x plus 30 is equal to 0. x is equal to minus 30. So here x is equal to 90 we, we got it. So x is equal to 90 and the bandaga will minus either. So x na now dimension of the rectangle and the way. So dimension will never be negative. Therefore the answer is 90. So I got a shortest side na tamana first. So length of shortest side is equal to x, which is equal to 90 meter. Then let us take the length of the longest side. So length of the longest side is equal to x plus 30. So that is equal to x and 90 plus 30. So 90 plus 30 will be equal to 120. Therefore, the longest side will be 120 meter. So like this, we have to find out the shortest and longest side of a given rectangle. So now let us move for question number 7. So question number 7 is like this. The difference, the difference of squares of two numbers is 180. The square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number. 
so find the two numbers so now let us answer this question so e question na naviga answer madta hon so this is question number 7 so let us see what is there in the question number 7 he has given the difference of squares of two numbers is 180 so now let us take here this is question number 7 let let the smaller number be let the smaller number be y let us take the smaller number as y then let the larger number be let the larger number be x smaller number y agirli larger number x agirli so difference of these two will be equal to 180. Square of difference of these two. What is the square of x? x square. What is the square of y? y square. If you difference those two, it will be equal to 180. So x square minus y square is equal to 180. You call it as equation 1. Then uh, the second condition is the square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number. Which is the smaller number? y square of smaller number is y square is equal to 8 times the largest no, larger number then y square is equal to 8x you call it as equation 2 now substitute the value of y square in equation 2 or uh, equation 1 x square minus y square is equal to 180 x square minus y square is 8x is equal to 180 so x square minus 8x plus 180 become minus 180 which is equal to 0. So now if you multiply any two numbers you have to get minus 180. If you add or subtract you have to get minus 8. So one is 18 another one is 10. To get minus here for bigger number minus and smaller number plus. Minus into plus is minus 180. 18 tens are then minus 180, uh, sorry, minus 18 plus 10 is equal to minus 8. So now let us factorize it. x square minus, so 8x can be written as minus 18x plus 10x minus 180 is equal to 0. These two one group and these two one group. So what is the common? x. What is the remaining? x minus 18 plus 10 common. What is the remaining? x minus 18 which is equal to 0 common to both x minus 18 then remaining is x plus 10 which is equal to 0 so x minus 18 is equal to 0 x is equal to 18 then x plus 10 is equal to 0 then x is equal to minus 10 here we, x we have taken as the larger number so x and a now larger number in the top only the way Agadre, let us find out the larger number uh, larger number we got the value as 18 so larger number is equal to so larger number is equal to x which is equal to 18 now let us find out the smaller number so smaller number is y so y is equal to that is they have given y square is equal to 8x so y square is equal to 8 into 8 uh, x is 18 so y square is equal to 18 8 is 144 so y is equal to square root of 144 so what is square root of 144 y is equal to 12 therefore the smaller number is 12 and the larger number is 18 so like this we have to uh, solve this question so smaller number we have taken it as y so y is equal to 12 meter and x sorry y is equal to 12 and x is equal to 18 so like this we have to solve this question now let us move for question number 8 so in the question number 8 they have given a train travels 360 uh, train travels 360 kilometer at a uniform speed if the speed has been 5 km per hour more, it would have taken 1 hour less for the same journey. Find the speed of the train. So in this question, we have to find what is the speed of the train. So let us answer this question now. So this is question number 8. 
so now I will answer the question number 8 so the question number 8 is as follows so in the question first to now so they have that is uh, let the speed of the train be let the speed of the train so let the speed of the train be what is the speed of the train x kilometer per hour so this is the speed of the time train so now distance to be traveled is equal to 60 kilometer this distance should be traveled with a speed of x kilometer per hour so distance given speed given then what will be the time time is equal to distance by speed so time is equal to distance is 360 divided by speed is x you call it as 1 this is the time taken if the train travels at a speed of x kilometer per hour next the distance to be traveled is 360 kilometer now the speed increases instead of moving at a speed of x kilometer hour x kilometer per hour now the train is moving 5 kilometer more so in, before that one it is moving at a speed of x now 5 kilometer more means it is moving at a speed of x plus 50 x plus 5 kilometer per hour now this is the speed now so time taken is equal to distance by speed so time taken is equal to what is the distance the train will travel so distance traveled is equal to 360 divided by it is moving at a speed of x x plus 5 then total time is equal to 360 divided by x plus 5 now here uh, since the speed is more here this time will be less so speed is just zero during the academy time not going to the agar idu kadme time to one of the just the time to one of the agar e speed a load re one hour just the one of the e speed a load re one hour kadme to one of the agar yerda yerda yerdo timing sin a difference so it is equal to one hour so agar idu just the time to one of the it will take less time agar just the time to one of the first barco beko 360 divided by x minus 360 divided by x plus 5 so difference of these two will be equal to one hour so now denominator itself is the LCM. So x into x plus 5 is the LCM. So now cross multiply. So x plus 5 into 360. So 360 into x plus 5 minus x into 360. 360x is equal to 1. So now 360, ones, uh, 360 into x is 360 x plus 5 0 0 0 5 6 0 30 1 carry uh, sorry 3 carry then 5 3 is a 15 18 thousand uh, 800 minus 3 360 x divided by x into x into x x square plus x into 5 5 x which is equal to 1 plus 360 minus 360 cancel x square plus 5x ones are x square plus 5x is equal to 1800 so now bring it to standard form x square plus 5x minus 1800 which will be equal to 0 if you multiply any two numbers we have to get uh, if you multiply any two numbers we have to get minus 1800 if you add or subtract you have to get plus 5 so multiply madare 1800 barbeko add athwa subtract madadre 5 plus 5 barbeko now let us see which is that number so one is 45 another one is 40 here if you want to get plus for plus 5 for 45 plus for bigger number plus and smaller number 5 so 45 minus 40 so now let us uh, factorize it so idu nanu iga factorize maadana so factorize madadre so let us see what we will get so let us factorize it now so if i factorize this one i will get x square then 5x can be written as plus 45x minus 40x minus 1800 which is equal to 0 these two one group and these two one group so x is common remaining is x plus 45 minus 40 common remaining is x plus 45 which is equal to 0 
common x plus 45 remaining x minus 40 which is equal to 0 so x minus 40 is equal to 0 x is equal to 40 because uh, if I equate this to x plus 45 is equal to 0 then x is equal to minus 45 x we have taken the speed of the train speed of the train will never be negative therefore it is always positive therefore speed of train so speed of train is equal to x which is equal to 40 kilometer per hour so this is the speed of train so like this we have to find out what is the speed of the train so by this in 10.3 exercise from 4 to 8 questions we have completed so in that exercise 9 10 11 will be there so it will be continued in the next uh, it will be continued in the next video so till then thank you very much those who are not subscribed my channel please subscribe it those who already subscribed please watch my videos like my videos and share my videos and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for the next video so thanks for everyone for your great support so once again, thank you very much.